All right, we're talking scrapes from prep soccer. Uh, Sean Curry with us, uh, the boys soccer team, uh, district champs, coming off of that. And uh, your guys are pretty confident. Like, listen, we we worked hard in the off season. You, you feel pretty good right now. Where you at to start? I, I feel good. Um, we are coming off of a, a team that, that returned a lot of a lot of starters, so I'm feeling confident about that. Um, senior year at Scranton Prep, the senior summer is a, is a tough year uh, between service hours and, and uh, college trips and, and, and all the stuff that they're involved in, jobs and you know their own private family lives. So uh, senior year is a tough year. So um, I don't know if you know we're going to come out of the gate where we were, or where we finished up last year, but I feel like we have a team that, that uh, has a chance to repeat what we did last year if we all stay on the same page. Talk about the league and, you know, playing good competition and hoping that pays off uh, when districts come around. Yeah, I mean, we've always uh, challenged ourselves playing up against all the all the big boys, um, Del Valley and North Pocono and Abington and Scranton and all the other, um, the, the triples and quads. And we always felt that that gave us a preparation for for the challenges that lie in double A, uh, which is always good as well. Um, there's, a, there's a potential negative that comes with that because the, the toll it takes on your bodies. Uh, you're playing against teams that are much deeper, um, and and uh, every game is a playoff atmosphere kind of game. You know they're all low scores, um, and uh, so there is the the risk of of losing, you know, uh, putting too many minutes on legs, so to speak, and uh, potential injury and stuff like that, um, which could then negatively impact our seating for districts in Double A because in, and most of the other Double A schools play single A and Double A schools. So these guys that. They're ready to score, it sounds like. They feel like they're a fast-moving team. Talk about, you know, putting balls in the net. You feel like you have that type of dynamic talent? We have we have a lot of guys who can put the ball in the back of the net. Um, this is a group that's kind of grown up together. Um, you know, we have 18 seniors on this team, and um, and a lot of them have been guys who've gotten good varsity minutes over the last so many years. A couple of years back, we were really struggling to to put the ball in the back of the net. We, were, uh, we had a much stronger defense. And moving, we could get the ball in the midfield, but we were having a hard time connecting to the to the guys up top. This year's group um, has proven that they can move the ball around the back, find that midfield, find that killer pass up top, um, play a quick high low somewhere, and 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 go to goal. And um, uh, guys who are right footed, guys who are left footed, guys who could use both. Um, and we can score from a bunch of different angles um, and and are, are pretty quick as well. So it's a nice. We have a nice dynamic up top. How about on the defensive end? Is there experience back there and talent as well? As absolutely, uh, you know, we won the district title last year. Uh, we, we returned our starting goalie, um, and our backup goalie got a lot of good minutes in the district playoffs and the state playoff game. Uh, we have uh, our center, one of our center backs, who's an all-star level player. He's back, Dante. Uh, we have uh, Landon Cannon, who's jumping in the middle, who is a uh, he got a lot of minutes last year. Uh, more on the outside, he'll be jumping on the inside with us. Um, Raphael Thomas is back this year in, in the back with us, and uh, we've dropped uh, James Tabone from the offense, uh, off the bench from the offense, back to the to the back line. Uh, he's got great speed, can make great forward runs, um, and it's just a great head for the game. So Dante's experience uh, and some some youth and some great energy in the back um, as well, and with Jackson behind us, we're in good shape. Talk about the you know the passion to still coach these young men here at Scranton Prep. And, you know, every year goes by. You, you, different people you know they, they got to race their kids they got to do that but yeah you know it's still something that you love i love it um it, it's you know it's a little more challenging every year because i get a year older and they don't <laughs> you know so uh it's 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 one of the things that, that help keep me moving and keep me young and and, and uh, the kids are great kids i love working with them um you know i don't have any more kids at prep they've all graduated prep uh, the boys and girls teams so i'm uh i'm, I'm you know these are kind of like these are my kids now. You know, when when, um, when my wife and I are empty nesters um, for the last couple of years, and now my daughter's back home with us uh, from college, we are. Uh, th- these are my boys uh, during the fall uh, and until uh, you know they're done with college. Right, Coach, good to catch up with you. All the best. Always good seeing you.